Hi there Fabric Jugglers, it's Babs here from My Fiery Phoenix, which hopefully you know by now. Uh, welcome if this is the first time you've, you've been to the channel and you're here to have a look at some of the tutorials for the Carousel Cal Crochet Along project from Stylecraft, uh, designed by Sue Pinner. This is video number two for week number two, which is where we take the individual panels and we join them together. Uh, we start off joining them in pairs and then we join them into the outer circle here. Uh, if you don't know how to create the original panels, then nip back one video. If you don't know where to find the videos for the series up in this corner or this corner, there'll be a little eye and a link that will take you through to the playlist that has all of the videos. Um, an introduction to getting ready, how to actually create this panel, and then obviously this series of three which will take you through how to get to this final stage here. Um, there will be more uh, tutorials coming in the future weeks so stick around and I will show you how to make the rest of the blanket but for now grab your hooks grab your panels and I'll show you how to join them into a circle So now we're at the point where we're going to be taking our mustard and joining our two panels together. As always, I'm starting with a slip knot just to secure things for my own um, my own sense of security. Uh, we're going to be starting at the very bottom stitch, and it's very important that we start out on both the white panel and the red panel at the bottom stitch. And again, just so that I know where I am, I simply loop it through once and pull through. So it's it's just attached, it's safe, it's secure, and I don't need to worry about it anymore. And then I do the same on the left, on the white panel, but this time I'm going to make sure that my yarn is to the right because that works more easily for me um, to draw it through as a slip stitch. And then I have three ends: the yellow, the cream, and the white, um, and the red. And I will be trying to capture all of these when I'm doing my double crochet stitches. So to start off with, I keep them out of the way. And then I do my first hook through and then I move them back into position so that I can then loop over and neatly secure those as I'm doing the, uh, the completion of that double crochet stitch. And then I loop and then I go through the white or cream and just do a single slip stitch. So I'll do that a few times because it feels very wonky when you first do it. Trying to do this in an elegant way on camera is not so easy. Um, but trust me, the more you do this, the more it will start to feel like a natural rhythm and that you will you will know what you're doing. Um, it looks very messy compared to the, uh, the really uniform design for the rest of the um, the blanket however I think it gives it a very nice real world touch of carousel um, as soon as these become um, part of the main blanket it suddenly screams fairground and carousel to me um, I'm hoping that it will do the same for, for you as well and um, and it will be worth the, the aggravation. There will be some OCD types out there who are going to really struggle with this process because I say it's not the most even. It, there is no definite right or wrong. I think you're, it's a suggestion of between 20 and 25 stitches. I never actually counted how many stitches that I completed. I just went through and made sure that the, um, the white panel and the red panel were... Um, were completely aligned by the time that I'd finished. So hopefully now you've watched me do the slip stitch and the catcher uh, a few times. So I will uh, snip this away and do it without the bother of these extra threads being caught up into the process. And when you're trimming them away, please make sure you don't cut through the red, the cream or your gold or mustard color rather. Um, so we'll pop those off to one side and then hopefully now you can see it without the interference of these extra ends that need to be tied in. So we uh, pick a loop, go through and do a double chain and then we simply do a single slip and then move on to another double 
crochet and a single slip to tie it all together. So if I open that out for you, you can see what I mean by it looks not as perfect. You've, again, you've got this lovely um, texture, you've got the nice flat layers and then the chunky stitches over the top. And if you've managed to align the bottom stitches correctly, you'll have a nice flat edge along here. And this is what we're going to be aiming for all the way around the entire circle. So I shall continue on and um, and I'll show you how I finish off and make sure that the ends still match. Constantly go through and just double check that you're, you're not over stretching one side so you don't want to end up with one that looks like this and then the white finishes down here with the red up here. They need to be matching. Now there's a little bit of give and stretch so you should be able to, to make sure that these, these work together. I haven't needed to pin any of the ones that I've done uh, but if you feel that you need to do that for a little bit of extra security you go ahead and pin. Just make sure you don't stab yourself whilst you're, you're working it. But I'll, I'll continue on and show you how I finish off. And here we go, with, we're coming up to the end and as you can see it can get a little bit messy but I don't object to that. I find that's actually quite um, a charming um, a charming effect um, and this is what I was warning you about earlier where you can have one side that is slightly um, ahead of itself and so what you need to do is make sure that you're keeping them together when you come up to this final portion so uh, the yellow needs to uh, sorry the cream needs to have slightly more movement along it than the red so to um, to bring that into alignment I take very small jumps on the red side. Now I take a larger jump on the cream side so that they are starting to tie together and then another small jump on the red and a larger jump on the cream. And now they're back in alignment so I can just finish off with smaller steps on both sides so that they're nice and neat together. And then the final, the final stitch, in the same way that the base stitch had to be at the very bottom, the final stitch needs to be at the very tip top of both the white and the cream. So you're drawing those top stitches into alignment together. And then as I've done previously, um, I just bring the yarn through Slip it off and then pull it, pull it through, and that is a neat, a neat finish. So that is the two panels connected together. And um, once I've completed my other panels, I will show you how to put these into a circle. But the first step that you need to do is join all your reds and whites. And please make sure that you're joining your reds and whites in the same order. So the red is on the left and the white is on the right. Um, and that's it for now and I will catch you up in a moment with the rest of the circle. So now that we've got our panels all um, joined to each other, so we've now got pairs, what we want to do is join them so that they start to form a circle. So I'll move these um, these sets out of the way and as you can see we're already getting a, a, nicer, a nicer round shape rather than just the flat square due to this angle uh, created by the increase. So we will, as before, be starting with a slip knot. Only this time, instead of starting on the red, we'll start on the what cream. And we don't have to worry about any um, any loose ends that need to be tied in this time around, which makes life that little bit easier. We only have one one end for our yellow or gold, and we will go through the bottom corner as we did before just to link everything together and if you find it's loose just give it a little tug um, against the hook not against the, uh, the the panels but tug against the hook itself so that you can tighten up any loose stitches and then we just continue on as we did before which is just the uh, double crochet on the side nearest us and then a single crochet or rather a slip stitch to just connect that together. So this time I'm going to tie in my loose end, set up the double crochet, complete it whilst we keep that tail intact 
and end. Bring the yarn through in a slip stitch. Now as you can see this is quite loose so I'm just going to tug that through to pull it a bit tighter and then slip stitch that through. So one more time. Set up our double crochet making sure that the tail is above our work. Pull that through and then complete the double crochet by enclosing the tail and then as before a single in the back. I'll keep going until I come towards the end and then I'll just show you how I tie that off which will be exactly the same process as I used for, for joining the pairs. Um, see you in a minute. So now this time around I haven't had to manipulate anything it has just panned out that it's it's worked with the um, the stitches and the side lengths um, so so that's a a nice a nice treat um, instead of having to uh, to stretch or, or shrink one of the um, one of the edges they've just matched up beautifully so we come to the end I'm not worrying about the tail on the red at this stage that will get tied in with the next round so we now have the full side done both sides and we'll just tie tie this off so as before I simply pull another loop through take the scissors trim the yarn off and pull that loop through in completely and that has finished that top edge and as you can see we're now starting to get more of a curve to the uh, to the piece so you just continue on in this fashion you link your pairs together and then you can either link all the pairs and then link the the, um, the quarters or you can just link them one to another to the next until you've you've completed the circle uh, there's nothing really more that I could show you that you would benefit you in terms of um, tutorials so I'll just let you crack on with creating your circles and then I'll see you back for the next video which is how you insert the centerpiece into your newly created circle so I'll see you soon Bye for now.